To inject a service in a controller, you need to first register that service in the startup.cs file. But before you register this service, it's important to know that the .NET dependency injection system has three major lifetimes. The first one is the singleton lifetime. And the singleton lifetime services are created once throughout the application. The singleton objects are the same for every object and every request. The second one is the scoped lifetime. The scope lifetime services are created once per request within the scope. What this means is that the scoped objects are the same within a request but different across different requests. The third and the last important one is the transient lifetime. And in the transient lifetime, the services are created each time they are requested. The transient objects are always different and a new instance is provided to every controller and every service. Now, throughout this course, we are going to use the scoped lifetime. So, let us go to Visual Studio and configure the actors service. In Visual Studio, go to the Solution Explorer, and then in here, go to the startup.cs file, and then scroll down to the configure services method. In here, we are going to configure the services. So, let us type in here services configuration and we are going to configure all the services that we are going to create throughout this course but so far we have just created the actors service so i'll just type in here services dot add scoped so i'll use the scoped lifetime the first parameter is going to be the interface that we are going to inject in our constructor so in our case that is the i actors service and the second parameter is going to be the implementation of this interface. So let us import the namespace, and that is the data.services. And the implementation for the interface I actors service is the actors service. Now let us save the changes and run the app to see if we get data this time. So we see that the app ran successfully. Let us go in here to the actors. So just click in here, then go to actors. And now you can see that we get the actors data. 